Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. We love Glen Allocky. We got a new one. Mm, we do. Part, we're part of the Virgin Oak series. We're going to test it. French Oak French style. French Oak style, baby. <laughs> Caught me mid, yeah. Right here on the on the box, yeah. limited edition, Glen Allocky Virgin Oak Series, French Virgin. Oak Finish, 10 years old, oh. Billy Walker, Master Distiller, 48% ABV, mm. 700 milliliter Look, bottle. So many good things there. Matured in American Oak X bourbon barrels oh. and finished in French Virgin Oak casks. Love it, and 48%. Yep. This is what I'm talking about. That is awesome. Brand Ooh. new. Yes, we haven't cracked it. Sometimes we do. Sometimes Why didn't you we open don't. it? You should open it. Let it breathe. I don't like the way you treated the box. You threw the box on the ground. Why would you throw it on the ground? Aren't you going to recycle the box? <laughs> Yeah. Why well, you wearing a hat? All those things. Yeah, I don't like those hats. What's that guy doing wearing a, a manga shirt? How do you even pronounce manga? <laughs> NRA sponsored show now. <laughs> Why is he Things talking we've heard. in that voice? Yeah, I know. Things There's, we've heard. That's everything. Why is the tall guy so loud and goofy? Space he agrees side. with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing more on the bottle. Space side, single malt scotch well, I whiskey. I said all you need to say there. 10 years, 10 years Billy Walker, 48%. Oak, Billy Walker. 10 years, little young. But I don't know. They're 10 years of well, killing it, though. I say for the normal age statements that I Especially like Especially with the virgin oak. Unless it's peated. The virgin year old. oak. Well, but see that's virgin out. oak. I don't know Maybe if it I'm used wrong. to sit in there too Maybe much I'm wrong. Yeah. So at least it is. Uh, it sounds like mainly matured in ex bourbon casks right. and then finished in uh, virgin oak. I'm kind of mixed. Uh, I've had we've had some good virgin oak finished whiskeys. Some couple bad ones. There's an interesting nose in here. What was the last virgin oak we just did? More surprised. But it was by. really good. Wasn't that from? Um, um, the Ben Riox smoky season. Mm, okay. Smoke season. This is interesting. I get a little bit that of... That one well done. Yeah. I've got like a, a honeycomb with a slight pine sap sweetness. Maybe even a syrup is too much. It's not that sweet, but it, it's this little kicker. This is natural color, non-chill filter as well. That's on the, on the box, on the label. I got a sweet... Yeah. I mean, it's honeyed, honeycomb, toasted. It's malty. Nice, great color to it for 10 years. A um, little burn. I just got a little burn on the nostrils there, so. Yeah, a little bit of caramel cream as well. Sweet Boy, berries. Boy, honeysuckle, though. Sweet berries. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Not necessarily a citrusy nose, a little bit darker, darker fruits. Ooh. Oh man, hold on now. Really effervescent in mm. the palate, nice mouth coating. Mm. A cream orange soda on the finish. I'm gonna have to come back to the forefront. I'll have to come back to it. First sip. Definite sweetness was the first thing that hit me, like a fruity, a little bit citrusy, but really kind of a, uh, more like a juicy fruit, almost like a tropical fruity, mm -hmm. fruitiness up front. Definite creamy, really creamy. Yeah. Nice oak, um, slight nuttiness to it. I just got that. Wow. Holy moly, is that nice. Uh, my favorite thing here is still this cream... Sickle. The orange seems less this time, but still creamy. Just very, very nice, creamy mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. um, I got more of that sweetness up front. I don't know if I can give it much more detail than that. The finish is really short. I get a little bit of that maltiness lingering in the finish, but that's about it. I like the orange cream sickle. But the orange seems to be fading away now. I couldn't get it that second yeah. time. Slight, slight tropical notes. Don't know that I could distinguish any, but it's a definite, nice, kind of a, a little bit more tangy type fruitiness to it. V nice toasted vanillas, or just vanilla, vanilla cream. 
whipped cream, a little bit of a sugar sweetness. Hmm. Nice oak, malty caramels. Boy, the um, almost no finish after the first like five or ten seconds. Mm. I'm hoping the water will bring a little bit of that oh, out. I think there's a little bit more than that. I wouldn't say there's none. It is hanging around a little bit. I mean, like what you'd expect for a 10-year-old. Well, I got the maltiness for about five or ten seconds and then just gone. Mm. So generally, virgin oak um, will produce kind of a really tangy oak. I mean, mm -hmm. kind of a sour oak note. Okay. Not getting any of that. No. This is really nice. Like I say, it's all those fruits, all that creaminess, caramels, malty. Mm. I get a little bit of a peach if I run, run my tongue along my, my gum line, my teeth. Peach cobbler? I don't know about the cobbler, but definitely the peach. And peach. that's in the finish. I didn't have that before. Hmm. I can see peach uh, peach cream, cobbler peach with cream. with a vanilla ice cream. It yeah, almost it almost feels cream. like a, a a creamy peach blended ice cream drink. I don't even know what that would be. Sure, like a little scoop of vanilla, like vanilla bean, a fresh mm -hmm. peach, yeah. and then blended with a little bit of like a sweet creme on mm. top. Served on a on an oak stave or oak plate. Oh, okay, yeah. Just throw in the there. oak there. I like that. Wow. A little tinge of oak. Mm. Nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very surprising. Very pleasant. I'm still not getting a lingering finish, which is fine. Sometimes there's not much. Mm. I got a little bit of a kitchen spice, but what is it mm. there? A little cinnamon, a little nutmeg. Okay, maybe some nutmeg is what I'm thinking. It's really soft. Yeah, I think that was a little nutmeg in the finish there. Hmm. Kind of reminded yeah. me of that little creaminess on top of a hot chocolate when it's got a little, a little bit of nutmeg put on top. That's interesting. Um, now, I will tell you before I score, this is not my favorite Glen Alecky, but I like it. Some of Glen Alecky's are just like, oh my, like I'll fight you for it. We'll just fight. And then you'll be like, there's more at the store. I'm like, I don't care. I want it all. I want all of it. Is that the way it is? Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's good. Lighter Score flavors. It. I like it. Um, 88. 88. Wish I had a little bit more of a finish, but it's there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. like it. I'm going 89. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. right there with you. I like it. It's almost on the cut. 90 being really good whiskey. It's right on the cusp of that. Well, it's still really good whiskey. For me, anything at really 85 and above is really good whiskey. Yeah, true. For me. Uh, just going off of off of the label in the box. So 10-year-old, you know, 48% finished in virgin oak. Maybe I had lower expectations. It definitely exceeded those expectations. I think Billy Walker did a good job on this release here. Boy, doesn't he always? Yeah. Really so. Good. Price, though, on this one, it's a limited edition Glenallachie, $100. Mm. It's pricey. Yeah, it's good no. whiskey. Because what is their regular 10-year so, come in at? 50. I see, and I love it. Yeah. I like the regular one. Well, the, back, the well, their cast, 10 cask strength is, is higher. That's uh, the 10. That's, that's a beauty. And there's the 12. That's a beauty. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, the 10 cast strength is just a, a, a steal. Just gorgeous. This one's still good. I mean, that is, that is a little pricey, but it's still it's a good whiskey. Um, I think it's just up to you if your if your wallet mm -hmm. wants to spend a hundred for a ten year old. Well, virgin oak. And finish, a lot of people, the, the Glen Alkey has caught a fan base, mm -hmm. or Billy Walker always had a fan base, and I know a lot of people. It doesn't matter what they're putting out if it's there on the shelf, they're buying it. And then it really is just a battle of the Glen Alekies. Which one of these do you like better than the other one? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, and uh, I haven't. I don't think we've had anything that didn't strike our fancy yet from Glen Alekies. There was one that just didn't really meet expectations. It wasn't bad. I think it was the Portwood finish. 
And because based on the sh the sherry finished ones we'd had, we expected, we expected more. more. I think port, I remember that port influence. And it was right. very faint, very right. light. Because I love my probably, I probably so, lean toward a port finish. Port finishes can be yeah. Excellent. That's kind of what I lean toward. Uh, yeah. over the sherry even. And it wasn't I, that it was I bad. I think it just kind of disappointed we us. Just like yeah, we, we, we were expecting more based yep. on Glen Allocky's sherry, mm -hmm. you know, finishes being mm -hmm. a little bit more present, a little bit stronger. I know I was. That's what I remember. The port, I was really expecting. It's like nice back port. in the 80s, if Tyson didn't knock him out in the first round, you're like, eh, eh, eh. He, 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 he nailed him with that uppercut round three. I didn't like it. <laughs> Round three, you know, Mike went crazy. But you, you know, don't need to go out. I don't know. She might. Well, we'll, we'll go check. Go to ScotchChessDummies.com. You can pick up coins, hats, shirts, glasses, all kinds of stuff. It helps support the show. Scotch it. You, Scotch. Gods. That's Shiloh up there. Slunch. Slunch it. <laughs> Dummies. Hey.